Hi, my name is Jackie and welcome back to my channel. Today is day number two of my community week. And um, so today I am drinking this tea labeled January 20. Um, I hopped on over to the website and I saw that it is one of their fandom blends, which is really cool. Didn't think that they were going to be including fandom blends in this. Today's blend comes from the Scott Pilgrim fandom. In fact, this tea is the Scott Pilgrim tea. I'm kind of nervous because when I hop on to the uh, Adagia website, I think that they said that the flavors in this was caramel, peach, and osmanthus. And I hate, hate, hate Osmanthus. But when I read the back of this tea, uh, when I read the back of this package, I don't notice them um, mentioning Osmanthus, so maybe there's hope for me. Um, so the Scott Pilgrim tea, at least according to the package, has black tea, a saw melody, natural caramel flavor, natural peach flavor, peach pieces, marigold flowers, and apple pieces. This is what the tea looks like. Just a really simple black tea with, you can see the peach piece and the marigold flowers, and the rest is just flavoring. I can definitely smell the caramel. I mean, I can definitely smell both the caramel and the peach, which kind of surprises me because I always feel like, sometimes when you have like those two, like the two flavorings added, one kind of, falls by the wayside and the other one's more prominent, but I would say both of these are fairly equal. So I'm kind of interested. And no no sign of the Osmanthus, so I think, I think I'm in the clear. I'll be interested to see what I think of this, um, because I've, I've had Adagio's peach black tea, and it's, it's a fine tea, but it's not anything that I love. Um, so I'll be interested to see how, I really love the caramel black tea, so I'll be interested to see my opinion of this, if, if, if I like it more than their normal peach tea. I don't think I mentioned this in my previous video, but those little packets, they give you a pretty decent sized serving. It, it looks like it fills up, or at least comes really close to filling up um, that Perfect David's teaspoon. So I kind of feel like they're giving you two teaspoons of tea. But I like my tea strong, so even though this should probably be about 12 ounces, um, it's maybe it's eight. So, um, so I steeped it um, in eight ounces of water, uh, 212 degrees for three minutes, and I did add sugar. Uh, I tasted it without sugar. I personally, this is not a tea that I would drink without sugar. <laughs> mm -mm. Let's taste this. Let's taste this again, but with sugar. So I'm in love with this tea. All of my initial uh, anxieties about it uh, are, are out the window in the snow. Um, there's no osmanthus in this. I don't even think that they sell that tea on their website anymore, so they couldn't include it in their blend. Thank goodness. Second, um, I think, I think Adagio tea's peach tea is just mediocre. Um, it's not something that I prefer to drink. It's not something that I would buy. This is awesome. And I thought it was going to be the caramel that saved the tea, but really it's the Assam Melody. The Assam Melody just gives this tea a little bit more weight. Um, it certainly makes the black tea flavor stronger. Um, and I guess... Now that I think about it, I don't necess I don't I don't think I know what the base of all of Adagio's black like flavored black teas are. They're just listed as black tea. Um, and I do like. Don't get me wrong. I like Adagio's flavored black teas, but that black tea sort of has like a brusqueness to it, and maybe a little bit a little bit of bitterness. And they're really easy. Those flavored black teas are really easy to, they're not forgiving when you oversteep them. So, um, this, however, I think with the addition of the Assam Melody, just completely changes this tea. The Assam Melody gives this tea uh, a little bit more weight to it. The mouthfeel is, is more luxurious, definitely more luxurious than if this were just 
one of their flavored black teas. Um, it's 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 really like a medium to full bodied mouthfeel. Like it's it's nice. Um, it's a little bit more malty than I than I think their normal black teas, but it's also smoother than than their their flavored black teas. As this cools, as this cools, it's got like this, it has this really nice honey note about it too. So I've been going back and forth about whether or not I want to do the community, like subscribe to the community, but this is kind of one of the reasons why I would subscribe to the community teas because I'm not really a fan of Scott Pilgrim. I never read the graphic novels. I saw the movie a couple times and it's fun, but like, didn't really speak to me the way it spoke to other people. So this is not a tea I ever would have tried, but the community put this in front of me and it's awesome. So there's that aspect of like discovery of, of new blends that I would miss out on because I'm not a fan of, I'm not a fan of like Scott Pilgrim or whatever, you know? So that's really cool. I'm happy this morning. It's been a good morning. Oliver's just been eating plums. I've been drinking this really delicious tea. We've been watching the sun rise. So, of course, it's all gonna end soon because it's Monday morning and I've actually been like stressing about today since yesterday because I have, I have two deadlines today that are just gonna be like time consuming. It's gonna be a long day, but at least I have this tea moment and other tea moments throughout the day to look forward to, but this tea moment is awesome. So I think that's the end of this video. If you've tried the Scott Pilgrim blend, let me know your thoughts on it. Did you like it as much as I liked it? Uh, also, what fandom blends do you like reaching for? The ones that I go for the most are probably Harry Potter, The Lord of the Rings, and Dragon Age. And if you enjoyed this video, Please consider liking and subscribing, and I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye.